heal your gut, heal your brain. Do you know how many microorganisms in your body? By weight, right. um, it's about two to three kg. And in volume, it's about the 1.5 liter. There's about three to a thousand species in your, they need about 50 to 65 grams of sugars a day, not a lot. So that's their food. And interestingly, there's about 50 to 60% of the microorganism live or dead in your stool. There's a, based on the scientists, there's a 38 trillion, 380 trillion of bacteria and the virus. To put into perspective, this is 5,000 times more and 50,000 times more the entire human population on earth in one body alone. In recent years, more and more studies and research on the gut microbiome discovered a significant health benefit to a human bodies and your health. So what is it? It's everything from your mouth to your column, from entry to exit. In this nine meter long tube, all the things between the bacteria, the fungi, virus, and the cells. One of the most important factors to the gut microbiome is your genetics. Of course, there's others very important as well. So where are they come from? They can be from your birthmark, the way whether you're breastfeeding, the air you breathe, the water you drink, the soil you touch, the people you interact. Actually, in our daily lives, there's many things actually harming the gut microbiome. For example, poor eating and unhealthy diet. That can damage and change the composition of your gut, make you unable to digest the food to create the nutrient which for your body to properly function. Antibiotics is helpful when we need it. However, they don't just kill bad bacteria, they kill all the bacteria. Sometimes when those bacteria are gone, it's really tough to bring them back. Often takes lots of time, energy and effort. Sometimes they may never restore back properly. Stress. A little stress is good for your body actually. However, too much of the stress, most likely they will damage and change your gut bacteria. Last week, Eva talked about the method to control the mental health. Francis mentioned his way of manage the stress in his life and work by exercising like yoga, listen to classic music. You can also practice mindfulness, meditation, or breathing exercise. Those activities actually can help and promote the growth of certain bacteria in your gut. Environment too clean is actually not good for you. They can decrease the diversity of the bacteria. So try playing with the dirt, grow some vegetables or flowers in your garden if you can. Also, if you have gut health problem, talk to your family doctors or dietitian. There's many 
diet actually can control your mood. They help to produce those neurotransmitter hormones, which can adjust your mood to help heal your brain. For example, tryptophan, an essential amino acid. It's particularly plentiful in the below product. It converts to serotonin and the melatonin. If you don't have tryptophan in your diet, or you don't consume enough tryptophan in your food. It's not going to make you happy. And also, you won't be able to sleep well. Another amino acid, tyrosine, also in bountiful of the protein-rich diet, and particularly more in the below food product. It's a precursor to neurotransmitter and hormones. They produce some very powerful hormones, for example, dopamine, which motivate you to do stuff, or the adrenaline. It's really helpful, especially if you're giving a speech on stage. Healthy diet is really a great way to build your healthy microbiome. You are what you eat. It's important to eat a healthy and a nutritionally balanced diet. To name a few, this diet, eating this healthy diet, it will help you, your gut microbiome to prosper. And uh, they are good for your health. They will help your gut microbiome and to be more diverse and have plenty of quantity, which eventually will be good for your long-term health. Some scientists believe your gut microbiome is actually the second most important organ after your brain. They are very crucial to our brain and the body health in the long term. What we eat can influence our gut microbiome composition. Eventually, it influences our health, brain function, even your happiness. You will feel more energetic, you get less, less sick, and you have better mental clarity and a better emotion well-being. If you don't have a uh, like healthy gut microbiome, most likely you will develop more disease. So remember, listen to your gut. If you hear your gut, you can hear your brain. <laughs>